Hi, need some last minute Christmas presents? In this episode, I'm going to talk about how to make these quick and easy laser cut Christmas ornaments. Hi, welcome to another making episode of Gray Lightning. And in this episode, I want to talk about making Christmas ornaments using a laser cutter. And one of the great things about laser cutters is they let you make custom gifts for people. And in this case, I've put the names of the family on the ornaments. But you could put any message you want. You could put the year or happy holidays, whatever message you want to put on. I've used a variety of different materials here. These are acrylic with wood in the back. And I've used mirrored acrylic, so I'll talk about working with that. And in some cases, this is wood on wood, but I used metallic paint to paint the back layer and get color contrast that way. And in some cases, I just took a nice piece of, in this case, walnut plywood, and I cut out an intricate snowflake. All of these designs are made using clip art that's readily available on the internet, so I'll talk about all that on this episode. I got my images by taking advantage of this free offer, 10 free Adobe stock images. I was able to get everything I'm going to show you today and some more things for future projects. When you're getting stock images, look for vector graphics because all you need to do is to take the fill out and change the line to be the line that works on your laser cutter and you're ready to go. You can cut this snowflake just that easily. I got this set of simple snowflakes. I also got these Christmas silhouettes. You always have to be mindful of how you're going to use these images because in certain applications, the things that are drawn inside the figure, like these spaces under the arms and in the halo, are going to fall away and disappear depending up upon how you use the image. I loved this set of uh, reindeer, so I got that. And I use one of those, as you'll see. And I also got these complex snowflakes. But most of my ornaments are the two layer ornaments and for each one of those I made a four inch by four inch drawing and at each, each of them has four layers. One layer is the outside circle, the second layer is the hole for the ribbon, the third layer is the image that's going to get cut out and then the fourth layer is where I put the text for customizing the ornament. Then I created a master drawing that was 12 inches by 12 inches that I would use for cutting because that's the size of all of my materials. And I would copy and paste each layer. So this was the green tree layer, but then right next to it I would have the tree wood layer that goes with it. So this would tell me what to load into the laser cutter and what to cut uh, one layer at a time and two layers for each of the ornaments. You have to really keep track of this because the text is designed to fit through the hole in each individual ornament, so they need to stay in pairs like this. So now moving on to actually cutting the pieces, we learned by experimenting that we needed to both raster, which is what's happening here, and engrave the text in order to get it dark enough that we could really read it easily through the opening in the ornament. Because this really adds time to the cutting, we actually tested it with just raster and just engraving, and either alone wasn't good enough. So here we are cutting the green mirror for the trees, and this works, but we found out later that the better way to work with mirrored material is to cut it from the back, so we'll talk about that in a second. We always stop uh, early on in the process and make sure that everything's working the way we want it to work and so I stopped and actually put a ribbon through and to check to see if that hole was big enough and it seems to work fine. Now we can proceed to cut the rest of them. I really love the reindeer. I chose to do that in wood on both layers because the body was narrow enough that you couldn't actually put the text inside the reindeer like the other pieces. So this is the one where we engrave the name on the front of the ornament, but you can see it's important to later paint the back layer to get better contrast. The snowflakes turned out great, but some of the branches are so delicate that they're difficult to get out in one piece. And here's where we really started to see the problem with cutting the mirror from the front. It shows up most in these light colors, and you can see the marring on the edges it also is a problem on the gold, which is another light color, so I ordered new mirrored uh, material to redo those. 
This is just cutting the intricate snowflakes. You have to be careful about the design so that it actually stays together when it's cut out. This takes a long time to cut and when you pull it out of the laser cutter there's a lot of little bits to pick up. So these are the finished samples that I was really happy with. The dark colors worked well. Um, I don't uh, feel the need to do any painting other than just using the natural wood. Here's the metallic paint on the back layer of the reindeer. This comes in all different colors so you could really make that reindeer any color you wanted to. When my new mirrored acrylic comes in, I'm going to be cutting it with this gray side up and leaving the paper on the mirror, which will be down. Hopefully that'll give me a better result on these lighter colors where those edge problems are quite obvious. You can also use the pieces that were left over when you cut out. I cut a lot of blank wood pieces to be able to glue those to. I think what I'm going to do is recut the blanks and actually put some text around the edges or in the case of the reindeer here I can put some text in this corner here and have another custom ornament. The easiest way to put ribbons on these is I cut a 13 inch uh, length of ribbon. I tie a knot, trim it off, and then push the loop through from the front and then slide the knot through and gently adjust it and it's that easy, it looks great. There is an endless number of variations you can do of materials and images and text, so go ahead and make some custom ornaments for your friends and family. I have a lot of other laser cutter projects, so if you're interested, please subscribe to my YouTube channel.